Hi, y'all. This is the husband from Texas Roadrunners. In our budgeting worksheet, today we're going to look at the monthly bill pay page. The bill pay calculator at the top of the page. I just use that um, for just what it says. I'll put in the income. So say I'm going to get paid in a couple of days. I'll put in what I expect my paycheck to be and I'll put in my bank balance and then I'll put in the, the bills that I have. Um, I may put in for gas or I may have uh, vehicle registration that month or something and then that'll give me a, a running balance so I can kind of use that balance like okay after I pay these bills I have a hundred dollars left and then I'll take that hundred dollars and I We'll figure in, okay, what's my next two paychecks and what do I have left? And I'll put those numbers in here and I'll just see, you know, roughly um, what I have left. So that's all I use it for. You could use a regular calculator if you want. I just like having a visual guide, something that I can leave. I also tend to leave this up here until the payments run, even paying electronically. So I'll put in uh, what I paid. And this will show me my balance, even though it may not clear through electronics for a couple couple of days, or even three or four days if I pay on a Friday night or a Saturday. So it'll it'll tell me what my bank balance will be. So that's all that's for. You don't have to use it. Of course, you don't have to use any of this. So. But the actual budgeting um, that we do by the month in this section here. And you can see this is filled out already. So on the first January 1st, we got paid twice. We thought we were going to get $500 for each check, and we did actually get $500 for each check. And on the 15th, one of us got paid on the 15th but the other one got paid on the 8th. And on those days, we expected 500 and we received 500. And then the other person also got paid on the 15th. So they got 500. So one, one person's getting paid every week and the other one's getting paid every two weeks. And so our total, our income for every check makes it up here in these boxes. Now, when you put in your expense, your bills, you put in your budgeted amount. So we budgeted 150 for the electric, but it was a good month and we didn't have to run the heat and it was only 114.33. So after you put in all of your bills and expenses and groceries and you put in how much you actually spent, this is going to give you a running snowball amount for the month. So in this scenario, our budgeted amount, when we filled in all of our blanks, was $566 is what we thought our snowball was going to be. But because we had thought that we were going to get $600 on the 22nd in income, but we were short that check and it was only $500, our and we had a couple dollars more of expenses. Our groceries was higher uh, three different, on three different occasions, four different occasions. All those little factors that you can anticipate, and actually groceries you can, just pay cash. Uh, so anyways, our debt snowball for this month is only 440. So this, this tells you exactly how much, if you put all of your categories in here, how much snowball you'll have left this month. And this is, if you get the same amount per check every month, very, very, very consistently, then this isn't really gonna change a lot. It's just gonna depend on, depending on where you live, you know, your heating and cooling could be one of the biggest um, floating factors per month. Maybe propane or heating oil or, but your food, you can, you can keep very consistent. Um, your fuel could vary. Um, when we were doing our budget fuel, it was back when fuel was $4 a gallon. So it, it was all over the place. It cost me over $100 to fill up my truck. 
and that wasn't, you know, now that same fuel is to fill up my truck would be 50 or $60, maybe even less. But anyways, you know, the expenses vary and you don't have control over some of them. So this, this gives you a monthly calculator. And the other thing that's really good about this is you can save this and then look back on it the next year. So when January of 2019 comes, you can look back and say, well, what were our expenses in 2018? And you can actually see what you spent your money on. So it's really nice to be able to look back and you'd be surprised uh, three or four years later, you look back and you're like, oh, wow, I completely forgot we had all that. No wonder we had struggled so bad and things are so much easier now or whatever. But you just work this out by the month. And, you know, at the end of January, you take a look at what you think February's bills are going to be and you put them in here. And then you put in how much income you expect to get. And then when you get paid, you put in your actual income. So it's just a, it's an easy little tool to use to keep track of your expenses. Not too much else to say about that. Now these, these dates aren't going to line up. Um, January 1st is not going to be on a Friday. You would probably have to go through and adjust that. I made this sheet up many, many years ago. But that's, that's the, this is the actual sheet that I used to do my budgeting for years and years and years. Now my budgeting is so much, so much simpler that I don't need anything this detailed. So I use a different sheet today. But there you go, y'all. If you have any questions, again, if you need any help, uh, feel free to leave it in the comments. I'll do whatever I can. All right, we'll catch y'all later.